Judith Kerr Archive acquired by National Center for Children's Books. The archive of acclaimed children's author Judith Kerr has been acquired by Seven Stories. The National Center for Children's Books in Newcastle. Kerr, who died in 2019 at the age of 95, wrote and illustrated a number of much-loved children's books including The Tiger Who Came to Tea, The Mog series and When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. Following a recommendation from Arts Council England, ministerial approval has been given to the permanent allocation of the Judith Kerr archive to the trustees of Seven Stories. The archive includes artwork and papers for 32 books, loose studio artwork, notebooks and a diary from 1948. Speaking about the acquisition, Chris McKee, head of collections at Seven Stories, said, Judith Kerr was one of the most well-loved and recognized of children's book creators in Britain. Her archive gives a valuable insight into her remarkable life, work and career and we are very proud to be able to give it a home in our collection permanently. Judith's artwork and written documents chart her life and creative journey, from her childhood and her experience as a refugee to her time at art school, through to the creation of each of her much-loved picture books, characters and stories. To be the custodians of Judith Sakai for this and future generations, and to be able to share this fantastic collection with our audiences young and old, is a huge honor and privilege. Author and illustrator was born in Berlin but fled to England with her family in 1933 to escape the rise of the Nazis. The Judith Kerr archive is one of 50 objects of cultural significance, worth £57 million in total, which have been accepted for the nation and allocated to museums across the UK for the public to enjoy. Items from the archive will be on display in a number of countrywide initiatives celebrating Kerr's centenary year in 2023, including touring exhibitions featuring Mog and the Tiger Who Came to Tea, and the Judith Kerr exhibition at Seven Stories where visitors will be able to see the kitchen from the author's London home which inspired the illustrations in The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Arts and Heritage Minister Lord Parkinson of Whitley Bay said, Many of us have fond memories of growing up with Judith Kerr's wonderful books. Her storytelling and her artwork have touched audiences of all ages, while When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit has conveyed to generations of readers what it was like for children like her who came to Britain to escape persecution under the Nazis. HarperCollins publishers are to commemorate the centenary of Kerr's birth with a year-long celebration of publishing and activity including a new edition of Judith Kerr's Creatures, a celebration of her life and work featuring a new chapter written by her son, the author Matthew Neal. Callie Poplock, executive publisher at HarperCollins Children's Books and Farshaw, added, HarperCollins Children's Books is proud to be the home of Judith's publishing. Her much-loved stories and illustrations continue to captivate parents and children around the world. We are delighted that her rich and fascinating archive collection will be looked after by seven stories ensuring that future generations can enjoy and explore the wonder of Judith's inspirational life and works for themselves. Kerr's much-loved classic The Tiger Who Came to Tea has sold more than 5 million copies since it was first published in 1968, and it has never been out of print. Kerr was made an OB in 2012 for both her services to children's literature and for services to Holocaust education.